I think you've got to have a bit of confidence about it. You know, I think we finished against France. We scored 55 points. Quite didn't finish the tournament off. You know, Ireland had a great tournament. They beat us at, beat, beat us at their place. And, you know, I think, you know, World Cup is going to be on home soils. It's a massive advantage. I think the crowd will get, you know, right behind us. And uh, we're all very much looking forward to it. And uh, the camp is not long, uh, far away now. We've got a few more games in Leicester to play and some big games there. And looking forward to them. And then, yeah, the next step is that. I did one today, I don't know if it was the best ever, but I did 1844 watts. Um, I'm usually about around there. We usually do them on a Monday morning, so we, we, we play on a Saturday and then we do them on a Monday to just see if, how much fatigue we've still got in the body. So I don't really know if I've ever done one fresh, so uh, I'll have to give it a go. I'll have to give it a go. I know that's true, some of the boys back at the club, yeah, they, they would wish it would break and they could come in when they got the walk bike session on and, and the condition would turn around and go, oh, I'm really sorry, mate, that you know, it's broken. The... So there's a few boys who have tried to take a few pedals off here and there and try and sort of, so they don't have to do their session, but nah, they do hurt the walk bikes, but it's all beneficial. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty unreal feeling, to be honest, uh, when you're standing there and there's a sea of red. Uh, shirts and the crowd and stuff like that, and you suddenly realise what you've um, what you've achieved together. You know, not not only on your own, you've achieved it together, and uh, you know it's a very very special moment. And it's something probably still hasn't fully sunk in. I think it will do when I'm growing old, sat in my armchair watching some watching the Lions play um, some Test matches, and I'll probably sink in there a lot more. I was six years old, and I started at Holt Rugby Club. Uh, back in uh, North Norfolk, so um, yeah, I started when I was six, and uh, I did try and play a bit of football. wasn't very good at it, so I decided to go and play some rugby, and was all right at it. So I carried on from there. Probably eat uh, five times a day. So breakfast will start at eight o'clock, half past seven, eight o'clock, and that will won't be cereal or anything like that. It'll be probably uh, protein or some eggs or something like that. So chicken, steak a bit of gammon steak, whatever, and then uh, go and do some training, a protein shake, lunch, and then probably after training again, protein shake, and then dinner, and maybe a, another shake at night before I go to bed, depending on if I've had a hard day or not, for recovery purposes. Well, I'm not famous, so, um, no, to be fair, like, um, in the rugby world, everyone's a decent person, so, you know, you meet some great people and the fans are fantastic and always just very complimentary and do all they want is a photograph and an autograph, uh, autograph so you know with the young young kids and stuff like that I was young once and I wanted the photograph and autograph so just take the time and, and uh, you know sign it and have a photograph and it's, it's fantastic to sort of pass back the grassroots rugby a little bit. I think you know I think there's going to be so many people now with the World Cup coming up I think there's going to be more and more young players coming into the game. I think the biggest thing is just enjoy the game at first. You know, I, I have massive enjoyment out of the game, and I think if you enjoy something, you succeed in it. Um, if you don't quite like it and don't like the contact, then probably it's the wrong sport for you. But if you enjoy it, you'll succeed and you'll go well, and, and just commit to it. I mean, that's the great thing about rugby; it's full of commitment. Everybody needs everybody on the pitch. You know, no one can. You know, got to have everybody on the same sort of page, and that's why it's a fantastic sport for yourself. No, probably not. Um, I think it was a, always a goal of ours. I think when we were growing up, we just grew up in the garden, running around, and not, not worrying, not worrying the world. And suddenly, we realised when I sort of got to sixteen, I was also 15, 16, I got picked up by Leicester Academy, and things started to move. And then suddenly, a couple of years behind me, he was starting to sort of get picked up and stuff like that. So things just all fell into place, and it's it's a massive dream come true, and it's something we never take for granted. Uh, running out of Welford Road or, or Twickenham or whatever we do, it, you know, we we really enjoy playing playing with each other and it's very special. <sighs> I'll get on the walk by, wouldn't I? And I'd, I'd, I'd have a go and uh, I'll see where I got to. I'd, I haven't actually ever done 30 minutes on it. I did, uh, you know, I don't know, a couple of 20 minutes once, but never 30. I would have given it a go, really. I, think I wouldn't be in a good state after it, I know that much. Costa cream, Costa cream, yeah.